The overall goal of the following experiment is to measure longevity in Drosophila while minimizing artifacts and bias. This is achieved by first preparing synchronized larvae to provide age-matched adults for analysis. Next, the newly hatched males and females are allowed to mate for two days before they are separated into vials at a constant density so gender-specific effects can be measured. Throughout their lives, the food supply is replenished no less than every two to three days and their deaths are recorded in order to maintain their health and document the time course of mortality. Ultimately, results are obtained that show an effect of experimental intervention on longevity based on comparison of survivorship and mortality between groups. Measuring longevity in any organism is technically straightforward but highly susceptible to bias. We present this technique to demonstrate important aspects of the experiment that are essential but may not be immediately obvious. This technique can be used to identify interventions that increases the robustness of the whole organism, reducing the risk of diseases that contribute to mortality over time. Though this method can provide insight into longevity in Drosophila, it can also be applied to other measurements such as stress resistance. Likewise, the principles contained in this protocol can be applied to measurement of longevity in a wide variety of organisms. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because lack of attention in the early steps can lead to major ambiguities later on. The field is full of experimental artifacts that can be easily avoided through the steps provided in this protocol, which have been developed over many years of experimental effort in multiple laboratories. Lifespan analysis requires stringent quality control of the food supply and use of healthy genetically controlled fly stocks. All stored